Well, what we're showing is that T-Mobile grew not just uh, had our best growth year ever, not just on subscribers, as we earlier disclosed, but also on service revenue, EBITDA, and cash flow, where we roundly beat the competition on a year-over-year -year basis on all the important metrics. And it just shows that the underlying magenta model that we've been pursuing here as we've uh, executed our merger with, with Sprint is firing on all cylinders. So tell us about the take up of 5G and what you're seeing from customers right now and whether they're seeing it as, as much as a value proposition that they need it, because this is a big play for you. Absolutely. And, you know, there's been so much talk about 5G in the press this last month as AT&T and Verizon are just getting started. But we're nationwide already with 210 million people covered with 5G the fastest and most available in the country. And it's a real advantage. You know, I've been saying for a long time that ultimately what this company is doing is delivering simultaneously the best network and the best value. And you see it in this quarter's results where we posted 1.7 million new postpaid subscribers while leading the industry yet again, showing that the formula that we have at T-Mobile is exactly what consumers and businesses are looking for. And Mike, is the improvement that that can deliver in average re revenue in ARPA, is that already arrived for you or, or are we just at the start of, of that expansion? Absolutely. You know, about 55% of our customers now are taking Magenta Max because they see what they can do with T-Mobile's 5G network. And they want to use that data up with you know, a rate plan that's the best in the industry, truly unlimited. And that's driving ARPU. You know, as this is the first time we've ever posted flat ARPU, actually up a penny year over year. And, you know, we see lots of signs that that can continue. I think part of uh, what's so exciting uh, about this release today isn't just the results, but the guidance. You know, we're looking forward to a year with very significant EBITDA growth and cash flow growth as our model is firing on all cylinders. And, and we're, you know, part of that is that we're so far ahead on the integration that we, that's starting to unlock the financial value we've long been promising. What do you say to analysts and investors who are still worried about the, the churn in Sprint, which has kind of been a recurring issue? I know you say it's according to plan. Of course. But why is that not a headwind? Yeah, because it's short-lived. And you know, one of the things that's beautiful is that we can now see a material cohort of people who've come across to the Magenta network and have Magenta phones with Magenta phone rate plans. And what we see with those customers, and there's a big cohort of them now, millions, is that their churn profile looks just like Magenta. And so we're working our way through that group, and it's, you know, it's going to take a little time as we get them all migrated and upgraded, but we see what happens. They love that Magenta network and those rate plans that are so much better than the old lease plans. And when we have one or more new phones that are fully compatible on the Magenta network in a family, that's enough for them to see the power of what this network can do, and their churn profile looks great. So as we outlook now, we'll be outlooking that the highest churn throughout this entire integration period is behind us, probably this most recent quarter.